Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. As you can tell, I am in a different location today. I am actually visiting my parents in Vermont, which is where I grew up. And I am here surrounded by nature and it's so great. So today I wanted to talk to you about fitness and specifically I wanted to share some of my best tips for staying motivated to work out. As we're getting into summer and I know that bikini season can be stressful for some people and you're potentially maybe trying to start a new exercise routine or maybe you're just like feeling not motivated to work out and you need a little help, hopefully this video will do that for you. So we're gonna walk through my five best motivation tips for staying on track. And I would, of course, as we go, love to hear from you. If you have any suggestions, thoughts, tips, anything like that, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, I would also love to have you join our community. There's a red button right below this video. You can hit subscribe and that will subscribe you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into our motivation tips. So my first tip is to identify your why. And for me, this is not just related to exercise, it's also like my why behind I wanna eat healthy. So I think it's a really important aspect in all areas of your life, not just health and fitness, but for specific fitness purposes, which is what we were talking about today, I really want you to think about why you are motivated to work out. Why are you choosing to work out? And make sure that that why statement is something that is a little bit deeper than just surface level goals. Like, oh, I'm trying to work out because I wanna lose 10 pounds. Sure, that's a good goal to have, but is that your underlying why? Is that what's really going to get you out of bed in the morning? Probably not. For me, it's really about knowing that exercise is going to make me feel good. That is my driving motivation. I know that when I work out, even if I don't want to, I go, I'm going to feel better at the end. And feeling good, feeling amazing, feeling healthy, that is really what touches me and kind of gets me deep in my core. That's what motivates me. So instead of just setting these big lofty goals for yourself and kind of identifying that as your why, think a little bit deeper and find a reason that really motivates you, that touches you deeply in your core. Tip number two is to set mini goals. So we kind of talked about this a little bit before, but having that big audacious goal is awesome and that is definitely a really high motivator for a lot of people but it also takes a lot of time. So if you are somebody that is trying to, for example, lose 25 pounds, that goal is amazing and that's such a great goal to have, but it's going to take a long time to get there. It's not gonna be something that happens overnight. So when you set mini goals, which is number two, that is going to help you stay more motivated while you are currently in your exercise routine. So thinking beyond just that big goal and setting little mini goals for yourself so that you are getting little wins along the way is going to make you feel like you're making a lot more progress, you're gonna feel really excited about it, and you're just gonna feel a lot more motivated to keep going. So here are a few examples if you're feeling stuck with what those mini goals could be. It could be something as simple as getting to the gym four times this week, or maybe it's, I wanna run half a mile longer this week. Or it could just be, I wanna spend 15 extra minutes at the gym. So setting those mini goals, like I said, is a great way to keep yourself motivated in the long term because you are getting those little wins along the way and you're gonna feel so much more excited about the progress that you're making. Tip number three to stay motivated to work out is to find something that you love. This can be a lot of trial and error for people and it's taken me like, at least 10 years to really find my groove and find things that I really, really love and I look forward to doing. Because that honestly is one of the biggest things that's gonna keep you going is if you're really looking forward to what you're doing. So if you, for example, do not like running, I personally do not like running, I don't think it's fun and I just hate it while I'm doing it, I'm not gonna stay motivated to continue to run. Sure, I could maybe train myself to be a better runner, blah, 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 but I just generally don't enjoy it. So. I wanna choose things that makes my body feel good, that I get really excited about, and that I wanna to continue to keep doing. So I think a really great step to try to do that is test out different classes. So maybe you sign up for a gym pass, and that gym has a variety of group fitness classes that they offer. Things like yoga, things like boot camp, maybe there's a running class, maybe there's spinning classes and you can just test a bunch of different things out and you can find what you like. And then you can start to incorporate all of those things that you enjoy into your routine and that is what's going to keep you going day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. That's what's gonna get you excited and motivated. 
Tip number four is to stay accountable. And the easiest way I personally have found to create accountability is to find somebody to A, work out with, or somebody that can just be in your life that will help hold you accountable. So it could be a friend, it could be a partner, and it doesn't necessarily have to be that they are there at the gym with you every single day. Maybe it's just that you have that one person and you ask them, hey, I'm trying to hit these big goals, I'm trying to lose 10 pounds, for example, or I'm trying to run a half marathon, and I really need you as my friend or my partner to help me stay accountable. Would you mind if I shared my mini goals with you and you kind of checked in with me along the way? Having somebody that can really keep you on track and kind of help you stay on track and checks in with you and kind of makes you feel like you are accountable to more than just yourself, you are going to feel a lot more motivated. I also think that finding buddies at the gym, so group fitness is a great place to meet other people, finding those buddies and kind of setting up workout dates, meeting friends for a run or a walk, again, it's just a really great way to stay on track and make sure that you are getting in that movement and staying accountable for the goals that you're setting for yourself. So tip number five and our final motivation tip in today's video is to celebrate the non-scale victories. So I know a lot of you are in this kind of weight loss journey or you're interested in losing weight or you want to slim down and you have potentially a number that you want to lose. So you have maybe 10, 15, whatever it is. You have a set number of pounds that you want to lose and that's kind of how you measure your progress. We talked about setting mini goals already, but what I want you to think about in this last section, in this last tip, is to celebrate the things that are more than just those non-scale victories. So the number on the scale isn't everything. And sure, it feels amazing to see that number go down if that's one of your goals, and you feel like you're just like winning at life, you're doing so much great things, you're making a ton of progress, but that isn't everything because potentially every single week you aren't going to see that scale fluctuate and that can feel really defeating. So I want you to think about celebrating the non-scale victories. So what I actually encourage people to do rather than setting the number on the scale as how they track their progress is to actually measure yourself. So take your individual measurements. It could be around your waist, it could be around your hips, your thighs, your butt, your arms and track that week over week. Because if you are somebody that is working out and building muscle, the scale number, the number on the scale, isn't necessarily going to be going down that quickly because you're building muscle, and muscle actually weighs more than fat. But muscle takes up less room than fat on your body. So as you are building muscle, the number on the scale might not be going down, but you are actually literally shrinking. So having some numbers that you have tracked and that you are kind of measuring yourself against is a really great way to celebrate those victories that are maybe beyond just the scale. And they can also just be beyond numbers in general. So if you are trying to set some weight loss goals, maybe think about how great you feel in your swimsuit, or maybe it's fitting into those skinny jeans that you didn't fit into last season. Celebrating those little victories is gonna help you feel so amazing. It's gonna help you feel really motivated. You're gonna feel like you're making progress and you're gonna feel much more motivated to stay on track and stick with those goals that you set. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to learn more fitness content or if you wanna see more fitness content, let me know in the comments below if you have specific things you wanna see. Definitely I'm open to your feedback and suggestions as always. So let me know, give me a shout in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. And I also really hope that you found this video helpful. I actually have a blog post that goes along with this video, so I will link that for you in the description box below. You could read a bit more about these different tips. And otherwise, I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I love having you here. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to tap that red subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!